Hey guys, I'm Mickey Lawrence with Urban Exposure Media. Welcome to another episode of the Jackson Influencers. Today I have with me Douglas Lacey, and uh, we're going to talk to him for just a bit about his story and what he has going on. So uh, we'll start out a little bit about Douglas and uh, tell us a little bit about uh, your background and where you come from uh, or basically your story. Well, actually, uh, well, thank you, first of all, having me, Mickey. I appreciate you, first of all. No problem. Um, yeah, man, uh, my name is Douglas Lacey, man. I'm actually from Mississippi. I'm a Mississippi native, man, to be honest. And uh, being here, actually, I've learned a lot, grown a lot, and uh, um, I got the same blossom that the guy before you. Um, I was 405 pounds August 2012, my good man. Yeah. Wow, 405 pounds? 405 pounds. Uh, this is a whole different me before you, but I'm thankful for the whole journey. Um, 405 pounds August 2012. Just to let you know, I mean, it's actually starting with great with everything. Uh, honestly, with the idea of love it, it actually was uh, something that we created from scratch. You know, something that we created from scratch that you see before you now. Um, me, me being here, actually been here my whole life. I uh, went to school here, actually went to Raymond a little bit. I uh, went to Raymond High, then went to Little Bit of Farm Hill, then actually ended up going to Hillcrest Christian my senior year. And I'm going there, I've been around here from going to scratch from all the Southern foods, all the great events, and of course, I, being 405 pounds, you know, I had a lot of Southern food. Right, uh, that's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, southern exactly. food is definitely good to you. <laughs> it is, it is. As good as it is to you, that doesn't mean it's always good for you. And uh, that's one thing I had to realize. I had to open my horizon and my ideas. I had to realize that it's, it's a whole way of life outside of what I thought I've been grown to learn, you know. Right. And so that's why you see the person before you now when it comes to that weight loss. <laughs> On top of that weight loss, actually, um, it has actually helped my confidence, my, my self-being, uh, my whole idea of, of living. And I would have what you have before you now is a guy that, that doesn't mind testing. If there's limits involved, I actually capture those limits and I go past them. I don't believe in uh, limitations to no human being whatsoever. I don't believe in the idea of somebody telling you what you can't do or you telling yourself what you can't do. And uh, that's why you see the person before you now as well. Um, actually walking around town, being around town, people in general actually will help you around here. I know sometimes the idea could be far-fetched, but actually it's so true. Look at you right now today, you know. With uh, that being said as well, um, me, me, I was uh, 405 pounds August 2012, lost 127 pounds in seven months. After, wow. I, yes, sir. After that 127 pounds. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That has to be some type of record, right? It, 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 really? <laughs> <laughs> well, with that being said, I, uh, it is actually something I looked at on Guinness. Um, it, it's actually not heard of to lose that amount of weight that fast. Healthy. Um, you can get some surgery done in that thing, but like losing it healthy, you have to really change your whole world. I, 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 I actually crafted a whole different universe. I got into a cave, I'm not going to lie. I changed everything I knew, everything I was around, who I was around, and how I was doing what I ate and um, I can honestly say that it, it changed for the better but it, it did take away from what I thought I knew but it did bring out this right here you know? so, so I will tell you it, it is an ideal of record speaking of records I am trying to break a, a world record in most consecutive workout days in a row and I'm um, actually got Guinness involved and um, it's going to be a financial fee to get them to follow you for a year round but they actually have much to wear right now and with Anytime Fitness involved which is a corporation that will be working out as I scan my key card and have the cameras involved and see me scan every single day, which means actually the business is involved. So, get us to go back and look at their records, see how long we went to the gym since day one. And uh, actually, it's kind of huge. The record was told to be held at 275 days straight, yeah. and we're at 695 days right now. Wow, that is amazing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank God. Yes, sir. So, so, I, so can I ask you a question right yes. there? Okay. So, what, what's your drive for continuing to do that? Happiness and to make sure that I want to be the best me every single day. What I did not accomplish yesterday should be better the next day. See, the guy who did what he did yesterday, this guy's better than I got yesterday. What, what I need, what I always want to wake up and know that I'm here for a purpose. If, if today was Tuesday, it'll never be another Tuesday like today. So what you make out of this Tuesday, that's it. You do have a purpose and you must try to fulfill it or get better at it every single day. And if you don't know that purpose, know that you want to be the best you. So when you meet souls, whether it be in different stores, different areas, that's an opportunity for you to become a better you. When you invite yourself into another soul's life. And when you do that, you can choose either show a smile or a frown. That is why I'm so encouraged every day to show the best. I believe my purpose is to meet souls. As I meet and greet souls, if I can't better them, I'm not going to over the top try to. But I always try to invite the idea that it's okay. Just be the best you can be at all times, at all moments. Because it's your choice to have the best time. 
Right, so that means that you're like a philosophical guru. Just listening to that, you have me like inspired to really just go out there and be the best me at like every minute of the day. So uh, high five that, my Thank friend. You. Thank you. All right. So uh, just moving on a little bit. So I know you got the fitness thing going on, but you also have uh, Green with Everything. Yes. Green. So so tell me, tell us all a little bit about Green with Everything. Well, Green with Everything is something that we 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 form from scratch. One thing um, I found out about life is everything that, that's natural in the garden, or everything that's natural in the earth, is, is made for us to consume. It's when we have any kind of preserv preservatives and different things that we add to our food makes things hard to break down in our body. One of my one of the main things to bring everything is easy in, easy out. You're not supposed to have food that's just sitting up inside of you, not producing any kind of production or any kind, any kind of progression. And that's why I'm, I'm a firm believer that what you put inside your body is what you are. You are what you eat. Now don't get me wrong. The saying can go a little bit deeper than saying that, but you, you will become it. So like all the years, before I became 405 pounds, it took hamburgers, steaks, uh, just things I piled on, carbs I piled that on. That good southern food. Exactly, <laughs> good so as well. And, and piling that on, I wasn't consuming as many vegetables, but green and whatever, but everything comes in. The more green you have on your plate, the better your digestion, the better your metabolism, the better your focus, and the better your intake outtake. You want to always make sure your food that goes in you goes out of you just as soon as it goes in you. If not, the right amount of time it does. Green with everything is inspired by your broccoli, your, your collard greens, or your mustard greens, all kinds of greens, um, your kale. Any, any kind of green substance, even green grapes, anything that's green, you notice that it helps with digestion at all times. And I always tell everybody, if you can start out by having your one meat and your three vegetables all green, you'll see your skin start lighting up, you see your mind start clicking on all cylinders, you start seeing you feel better, interact better, and everything rolls with it. So bring with everything is centered around the idea, just becoming a better you, not only consuming foods, but with your workout idea, who you are and what you're becoming. Bring with everything is a natural earth idea. So that's what I'm using, and that's what we actually grab. Now, what's it work? What, what do you bench? That's what I really want to know. <laughs> what do you bench? Because you look like you're benching okay. like 400 pounds, 500 <laughs> pounds right now. Nah, I hit my max at uh, 565. Okay, I know what I say, four or five. Right, right. Uh, with that being said, you have an athletic look about yourself. So, uh, you talked a little bit about acting and roles. So, how does that play into some of the roles that you go after? Like your athletic look. Right. Um, actually, um, it actually gears me towards a lot of auditions that I want to grasp. Um, I can honestly say that that me versus me, not to say it was bad, but me being a slender Doug, when I first lost that weight, I wasn't getting as many auditions as I was getting right now with the Doug that's actually filling out his body, you know, right. filling out his face, filling out his body. The athletic look actually gets me my hitchman, my, my, my main roles, my supporting roles, which are huge in feature films. You know, gets me the exposure that I need so when I walk up in front of a director or, or producers or any kind of casting directors, when I get ready to capture their attention before I open my mouth, the visual captures your attention. And on top of the visual captures, when I finally open my mouth, then it all complements one another. So the, the athletic role is a huge, huge meaning, you know, huge point to it. You know, I, I thrive on the idea of working out. I thrive on the idea of getting better. And, that's where the body comes in with athletic look. So you are right about that. And as far as acting goes, it, it's got me in the roles I've been having recently from the cameo in uh, Get Hard with Will Ferrell and Kevin Hart. Oh, awesome. Um, yeah, uh, the, uh, actually the cameo in, uh, in Terminator 5 coming out. And um, um, the Fantastic Four, I'm actually fighting Dr. Doom in that movie. You're going to see me get thrown around a little bit. I'm in my, my military uniform with my, uh, my, my rifle and my, my handgun. And as I'm fighting him, he's going to throw me around like a rag dog. But, that's my first time getting CGI scanned, so I had to actually get scanned whole body wise so they can actually use me in computer graphics, which is cool. Are there any people who inspire you? So you see that person, or you have somebody in your ear, or there's somebody like, you can do it, my friend, you can do it. So you, who, who are some of those people? I, I can honestly say everybody inspires me. I, I mean that to the, and I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and go there with you real quick. When I walk, wherever I talk, everybody inspires me. It's not that I look at anybody's situation and look like what it could be and what it's not. I just know that when, 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 when I get to act with people in general, whether it be I'm walking out, talking to anybody, to me, the reason why they inspire me because whatever things going on, whatever they're going through, it promotes an energy for me to want to get better myself. And it's not, it's not, it's not, it doesn't matter if I was in Mississippi when I was shooting in New Orleans or Atlanta or Florida. It's like when I interact with souls, it's like I get extra, I get, I get, I get ignited, you know. And I, I, I can't really explain it, but if, if you saw me action, you understand, you know. But um, that's, that's, that's pretty much my main motivation. Don't get me wrong, I have people I look at like uh, The Rock or people I look like Denzel Washington, uh, Brad Pitt. I look at those guys, man, and I study the craft and how hard they work at the craft, you know. The idea of that they, they actually 
turn that craft into something like oxygen. I'm achieving happiness daily as I wake, as I sleep, as I endure you, as I endure life. I'm still achieving my happiness all the time, every moment. Even if I have a bad moment, I'm not gonna let it consume me and make a bad day. So my whole idea is it's our choice. So that's what I want to bring to the table for everything. Through the acting, what I bring to the table with my acting, I want to let everybody know that's my passion. I'm giving you my soul. I'm literally ripping out of ripping it out of my body and showing you my soul and everything that you see. Through my music, when you hear, when your ears are open, you're hearing my soul. It's not anything I'm going there doing like, oh, I think they may like it. No, I won't leave until my soul is all over it. Acting, music, and then my model as well. When I make a pose, as I think about the pose that I make, it's it, of course it's it's ideal where it can be generated to to be kind of generic. But I I go out. I've been taught to, to really put your soul on every pose. No pose is the same. You think all these flashes will be the same? It's not the same. Everything will be bringing out your soul. So what I believe is bringing out my soul for the rest of my days for everyone. I feel like it's something that I can show the whole world. I look forward to the world showing me their souls. And I say that's what I want to bring to the table for the future. So, so I'm a little bit disappointed, World and Douglas, on one thing. He didn't even let me get to the point where I could say, you're a model. You are into music. I, I want to let the world know this. Okay. But no, 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 really. I, I appreciate that he touched on that because uh, I do want to know just a little bit about your uh, modeling as well as your uh, music. You being a music artist and all that, a lot of people might not know that about you. And how big you are over in the UK and Europe and all those yes, sir. things. Yes, sir. Well, actually, oh, we, are, we have a song right now called Mad About You that's playing overseas right now and it's doing wonderful. Um, I'm getting a lot, a lot of feedback off of that song. Mad About You is a song that is it's, it's, it is what it says. Uh, you're mad about you. you find that person, that, that person is someone that smell, the way they walk, the way they talk, just everything about them. You're mad about them. You're mad about them in a point where you just head over dangerously in love. You know, um, music wise, believe it or not, music started the journey of 405 pounds. So, yeah, I would say I'd be a little mad about not bringing it out. Music was the reason why everything got kicked off. Music is my heart. I love to express through song. I, heartbreaks I've been through, uh, issues in life I've been through, music has got me through it. Of course, you know, my, my, my beliefs and God first, of course, get me through it first. But, but music, music is so universal. And music will help you through anything. I'm so serious. So, so I, I've actually been a musician now over eight years now. So I, I've, I've put myself in a class to, to, to really become a student of the game. Take everyone's um, film now, their game film now, turn it to my, my audition tape or turn it to my, my practice film. Study, find out why it pops, why it sounds good, become in the classes, understand exactly what I'm writing, what I'm doing, so it can have its own personal flow. So of course I can compliment what the world is used to hearing, but still give them my flavor. In other words, if I'm making gumbo, it's gonna be my little mix. Right, right. it's original. Right, exactly right. So that's what music comes in. Music we have, uh, once again, over, um, over in the UK, we actually have a Mad About You. Over here we actually have our song called Pioneers of Progression. And it's a real pop animated song of your flow riders kind of pit bull realm. Make you want to dance, make you want to feel good, but make you want to push your head in life. To give you the extra umph edge to just kind of enjoy it when you wake up and hear it. I am a up tempo kind of guy, but I don't mind getting any kind of brand. But I love listening to R&B, I love listening to soft songs, but if I craft it, I like the up, the up tempo kind of boom, you know. Gotcha. You know we got yeah. your, you your hip hop flavor as well. On top of modeling though, modeling was actually right after music. So believe it or not, acting came after all of this. Modeling came when I realized that I, um, I, I can look decent in front of a camera. And I say decent before I can say look, look well in front of a camera. And I was taught by some great, great people how to pose. I was taught by some great, great people how to hold a composure and how to just break the camera my own. Once I was taught that, man, man it's, it's actually been, it's been moving, shaking, and rattling, man. And acting actually takes all of that and put it inside of it. So it works all hand in hand and piggyback each other. So we have Mr. Douglas Lacey, the actor, the model, the musician, the comedian, the philosopher. The, I mean, no, I'm just kidding. But I mean, this guy is awesome. Um, but um, on our show here today, you'll be able to find all the links to social media where you can find Douglas's music, where you can find his video and other places. All that'll be right here in the link right below here. Where is it going to be at, though? It's going to be on the link right here below here. Alright, well we're out and I thank you uh, once again for tuning in to this episode of the Jackson Influencers right out of Jackson, Mississippi. Uh, so like I said, we had today Mr. Douglas Lacey. He's also known as, one thing we didn't say, also known as RFD Pioneer. There we go. <laughs> but uh, we're out. It was good. Appreciate it. Subscribe.